Dr. Friday, congratulations on your pending appointment as opposition leader. Uh, what's the feeling? Well, um, I'm, I'm, of course, I'm delighted always to serve, and it's been a very um, enlightening and um, rewarding process, and I look forward to working with my colleagues in the House when the appointment is formalized by the, um, by the Governor General, which will be soon. And, you know, I want to thank my colleagues for the support and the confidence they place in me, and, of course, to the country, we pledge to continue to work on behalf of the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. That's why we're in the Parliament. Um, and, you know, it's um, big shoes to fill in um, going in there after Mr. Eustace, but I believe that we um, have the potential to rise to the What would you say uh, is the biggest agenda item in the Parliament for the opposition right now? Well, I mean, right now the... the um, the general approach is, of course, to keep to make the government accountable. We have coming up soon. There will be the estimates, and you know that is always a challenge. And um, to make sure that the, the we've always been asking that the estimates reflect the current conditions in the country. And there's been always um, this sort of you know grand estimates without any funds to really deal with it. That is going to be a challenge for us. And the budget coming up, um, we have the general issues that we have had in the past. In our constituencies, each member will have their own concerns to deal with and we're going to press those vigorously because I'm the thing what is that we're dealing with is the what is interesting what is good for the people of the country we always have to put their interests first and we'll be guided by their concerns and make sure that the government is held to account for whatever it does I know that of course this is just the opposition leader role in terms of a leader for the party that is to be decided on November 27th um, I guess you're running for that as well. Yes, well, um, it's it's the um, the leadership, the president of the New Democratic Party, which, as you know, is a different position, but it's been in the past the policy of the party to have both positions united in one person. And so, therefore, having accepted the leadership of the uh, opposition, I am also going to put my name in for the leadership of the party, and I'm hoping to prevail there. I'm asking for the support of my colleagues and I'll reach out to the delegates and I'm so I'm sure whomever else is contesting for the position will be doing likewise and uh, we will have an open and democratic process for the selection of the president of the party and I hope to prevail I believe I will prevail in that. What would you say to your critics who say that um, Friday is not a fighter? Too not a fighter. <laughs> Well, I mean, what I say to them is, is look at the course of my life, the things I have achieved, you know. I have set very high standards, have very high goals for myself, and I've always accomplished them. So it's not a matter of demeanor, it's a matter of results. And I believe that I produce the results, and I can do so. I have done so for my constituency. I have done so in my own personal life, and I will continue to do so for the country. I believe that I can deliver a better standard of living for the people of this country, a better, brighter future for the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And um, you'll just have to watch me. And you're taking over from uh, Mr. Anna Eustace, of course, has been a long-serving uh, leader of the party, opposition leader. Um, what, what for you will be his legacy? Well, his legacy is one of true statesmanship, of dedication to country. Um, as you know, he has served in the public. I mean, he is a, a, a national and a regional public servant. This is a person who has given his life to public service, and people cannot underestimate the contribution he has made. And when he steps back from the stage, that's when, as they say, you would um, truly appreciate the contribution he has made. I and all of us in the New Democratic Party, the people who support and the people who are in your leadership, we owe him a great debt of gratitude for keeping this party together and viable. It's not an easy thing to do it for 16 years in opposition, and he has done so, and that is a great accomplishment. I think, but his example as being a selfless public servant, for being somebody who's committed to the public good, that is an example that I think um, a lot of people should know about. Young people in particular should aspire to emulate, and I really take my hat off to him for that. Mr. Friday, thank you very much, and best of luck. Thank you, and I look forward to talking to you again.